how do we become hopeful? Um, I kind of guess maybe I've already kind of spelled that out in that um, we ask. Um, you know, we, we, we try it out. We take him at his word. Um, Romans 5 paints a slightly different picture to that. It says, uh, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. We know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us. So unfortunately, what that's saying is that you have to come from suffering to hope. There's no shortcuts. There's no easy route. The Bible says many times there will be troubles in life. Being Christians, we're not exempt from that. But at least we can look at this and say, OK, we might be suffering, but it's going to produce good stuff, perseverance, character, and then ultimately hope, which won't let us down. So, yeah, that's kind of bittersweet, maybe, but we've got to hang in there, I suppose. Um, and, and we'll end up with hope that won't let us down. Um, 1 Thessalonians 5 talks about putting on the hope of salvation as a helmet, which to me says that actually hope is a choice. Um, it's not saying the hope of salvation as a helmet will just land on your head. It's saying you have to put it on. So you have to reach out, pick it up and put it on. Um, God is offering us hope, but it's our choice whether we take it. It's our choice whether we put it on and whether we keep it on or whether we take it off again. Hope is there. But like all God's gifts, we have to choose to take them and accept them and use them. Um, so to end this, really, we've got hope in the darkness um, and in St Paul's letter to the Romans, Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>